Valve has recently accidentally rolled out a massive false positive ban wave. Hey guys and welcome to my channel, Times But A Window. Now recently there seems to be a massive ban wave, but that doesn't necessarily mean everyone that's been banned has been cheating. It seems that this time there has been a lot of false positives, which has led people to speculate on what is causing people to get banned. Now as we all know, so far with Counter-Strike 2, Valve has decided to try to think out of the box. Instead of being like Valorant and using a kernel level anti-cheat and 128 tick servers, they've invented an entirely new type of system. An AI anti-cheat that uses the sub-tick system to determine whether you're cheating or not. Now because they have chosen to not use a kernel level anti-cheat, we have had some issues like people turning too quickly and getting banned. But this has only been under the most extreme cases where people jack up their sensitivity to sensitivities that nobody could possibly control and spun around like a spin bot. Now it is true that the AI system has been learning since Counter-Strike Global Offensive watching Overwatch cases. But if it's banning people for just using straight up high sensitivities in the first place, then who knows what could be triggering these bans now. Now I have reached out to several people I've found that were banned to ask them what they were using and hoped, at least, that they would be truthful with me. And here's what I've found so far. Now the number one theorized culprit is NVIDIA drivers, specifically the older drivers. Now it is possible that it could be a setting on an NVIDIA control panel because I haven't determined an exact version that seems to get everyone banned. But one thing I've noticed from the limited amount of people that I have been able to contact is that most of them seem pretty lazy about updating their NVIDIA drivers. And why would they? After all, once you get the settings the way you like, why would you ever want to change them? But as I did mention, there are a lot of settings in the NVIDIA control panel. And because of that, it could be almost anything. NVIDIA allows you to custom configure things so intricately that one of these settings might be triggering you to get banned. Next up, we have scripts and alias commands. It is no secret that with the sub-tick system, some movements have felt a little bit more random in CS2 than in previous games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive. To counter this and sync the movements up with the tick rate, people have decided to use alias commands in their auto-exec. This allows for far more consistent results when it comes to movement or jump throws. Now Valve doesn't seem to want you to use these as they have made it illegal to use commands like this in tournaments. But with that being said, after asking several different players, especially those in the upper levels, it seems almost every player in the upper levels is using some kind of jump throw. And yet only a few of those players are the ones that are getting banned. So it seems unlikely, but it's not completely impossible. Next up, we have in-game optimization workarounds. In other words, ways to give yourself the best advantage while maintaining high FPS. You guys have probably seen this video, how to get high shadows on low settings. Now, some of these optimizations, like this one in particular, require that you go into a file and edit one of the commands manually. In this case, there's a few different commands you need to edit, but still you get the point. Now, this may be seen as the anti-cheat as giving you an unfair advantage, and because of this, that might be causing some VAC bans. The only problem is, I found both people that have been using this optimization that were banned, and people that were using this optimization that weren't banned. Now, with this being such a big issue and affecting so many people, I'm sure Valve will deal with it and overturn the majority of these bans very soon. Maybe even before this video is able to come out. But that's not going to make this video irrelevant because this is going to happen in the future again. Valve is creating an experimental technology here, and because of that, these kind of issues are going to rise up from time to time. Don't cheat and play clean, and if some false ban does happen, especially a massive ban wave like this that false bans a lot of people, just relax and wait for it to get overturned. I hope you guys found this video informative. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll make an updated video when more is known. Here's a little update at the end of this video because as I figured before this video was released, Valve officially posted on their Twitter. They know about the issue and are rolling back bans. 